Adam has called from Hartford. Uh, you're a landlord, Adam. Uh, yes, hello, Richard. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Yes, yes. What's your take on this story? Um, it links to what your previous caller was saying, really. Um, I'm a private landlord. It's not my full-time job. Um, when I moved out with my now wife seven years ago, through hard work, I managed to keep hold of my property. And it's, it's given me a small income over the last seven years. Yeah. But due to rising now interest rates, um, the tax breaks, which have been continuously eroded uh, over the years, I'm going to have to make my, my tenant homeless, which it, it breaks my heart. She's, she's a single mother. She's been a fantastic tenant for seven years, but I'm, I'm forced into a corner. What are you going to sell, are you? afford to, to rent it out. You're going to sell it? I have to. Yeah. I'm, I've got no other choice. And you've, she's been with you for all of that time, has she? For seven years, she, she's been the perfect tenant, really nice children, really nice lady. Um, the local council have been fine, no issues there, but uh, I'm, I'm forced into a corner now where the little bit of income that I do get from it, I'm going to have to sacrifice anyway. Because it would be wiped out breaks. by the costs, would it? Yeah, the, the, the tax breaks and, and the, the increase with the, the interest rates is due for um, renewal and the mortgage soon. Um, I have no other choice. And, you know, it, it saddens me to think that I've, I've got a informer at some point soon that she can't live there anymore. How many kids has she got? Two. I was on one of them Instagram blog pages them earlier today and I see a post about it was on LBC I think it's London's biggest conversation and that um, that radio station there's been around for a long time anyway there's a little snippet post about a landlord that has to make his long-standing tenant I think the tenant's been in his property for about seven years or something like that good tenant pay rent all the time no complaints from under the neighbors or the council or anything like that all around good tenant he's having to make this single mother of two homeless after being a tenant in his property for seven years and that he had no issues with her and it something to do with obviously the interest rates going sky high and that and he's not making any profit from the property so he needs to sell it so um obviously the title of the post and that was something to do with landlord has to make single mother homeless and obviously in the comment section people are just going to take it at face value on that and there's bare boo-hoo in in the comment section but this is the thing people don't understand the thing and they don't read in between the lines and that you see me i'm a man i don't just take things as face value and that i read in between the lines i think to myself why is this woman even a single mother to begin with so you have to check it you see most gal who are average and especially the good looking ones you know when they're on their come up when they're young 20, 25 and that. They have an abundance of options with men. They can have good men and bad men. Do you know what they don't do? They don't pick the good men, you know. What they do is they think to themselves, right, I'm going to fuck about with the bad boys and the F boys and that. And when I'm ready, when I'm done with them, when it's time for me to find a good man, yeah, all these suckers and that, they'll be waiting around for me. Nah, it don't work that way. It don't work that way. I don't feel no remorse for 95% of these single mothers and that. Because I know at some point, they had the choice to find a good man. But they decided not to. Bear gal right now are single mums. Not because, because there's a few isolated situations and shit like that out here, isn't it? Yeah, where uh, the woman did vet the man. He ticked all the boxes and that. On paper, he was a good man. But then... He deceived her, he was a fraud and that he flipped the script on her, innit, yeah? And she decided to break up with him or whatever, innit, yeah? That's cool. Or, again, she did vet the man, he ticked all the boxes and that, and uh, unfortunately, he died in the line of duty and that. You see those two situations there? That's few and far in between. 95% of women out here, the reason why they're single moms is because they decided to get breeded up by the wrong man. They decided to go for the bad boy. Or the guy that was drippy drippy and that. Or the guy that was 6'7". Instead of maybe a guy that's not as drippy drippy. Maybe a guy that's not really as attractive as she wants it to be. Although she's a fucking 5 or 6 out of 10 and that. You know these gal in it, yeah? Like they want to date a man. They want a man who's a 9 out of 10. But they're scraping to be a 5 out of 10. I don't feel no remorse of them. I don't feel no remorse of none of these gal. Because like, I know along their way some point in their life they had offers from decent men and they decided you know what Bun it 
you know what? I'll fuck about with these guys for, for, for the time being. I'm going to have my fun, uh, live my best life in it. And then when I'm ready, I'm going to go and pick up one of these suckers and that that are waiting for me in it. Nah. Even my girl right now, she knows someone who they're dealing with a you who, and it's coming out of the girl's mouth. Oh, he's a bit of a waste, man. He doesn't uh, do nothing with himself and that, but he's good looking and that. Um, and now she's kind of thinking about, oh, trying to find a good man and that. You see when a girl makes that conscious decision to try and find a good man, you know all the good men, they disappear from their life, you know. They don't want nothing to do with them. For one, the girl, them are outcome dependent. And for two, they have that desperate energy looking and, you get me, running around trying to find a, a, a good man and that. They don't want it. The good, you see the thing is, yeah, the good men, they're the ones that end up, when these girls are desperate for them, they end up smashing them and dashing them to the, to the road and that. I don't feel sorry for none of these girls. Girls think they know. They think they know what type of man to pick and that. I'm telling you, most of, you, most of the girls that watching this right now walk in the face of the earth. The man that they end up with, or the man that they end up getting breeded up by, that is not the man that their dad would have picked for them. I say it again. The man that the women then pick, is not the man that the, their father would pick for them. Women don't know how to pick a decent, a decent suitor. And then when they get knocked up and that, and they don't have a man in their life to look after their children, and they could potentially be made homeless and that they want to cry and pine and that. Nah, fam. Nah, nah. I don't, I don't, I don't feel sorry for none of these single moms for the most part because most of them had an opportunity to pick a decent man, and they decided. And the thing is as well. Some 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 women do pick decent men as well. And then, oh, he fell in love with me. Or, you know, or they was dating a decent man. And you know what? He told me he liked me too much and that. And I got the ick, whatever nonsense they want to call it. It's like, come on, man. Come on, man. God forbid you tell a girl that you like them on a first date or something like that. You know what? The quickest way to turn off a girl, don't be disrespectful to them. No, no, that will turn them on, you know. The quickest way, if you want to turn off a girl, tell her how much you like them. Tell them that you want to take them out on extravagant dates and you get me, you want to give them the world and you see a future with them on a first or second date and that. See, see if they don't run a mile away from you. I don't feel sorry for none of these single moms that are struggling and that. Because I know at some point in their life, they had a good and decent man that wanted to give them the world. And they decided, you know what? Nah, I'm going to fuck about with the fuck boys for now. Um, I'm a, I'm a deal with this guy because he wears Fendi, although he's a fool, innit? It? It's that's all right. No full sorry for none of them, man. Anyway, like I said earlier, the man that these girls pick is not the man that their father will pick for them. That's the realest truth. Stay where it's done, though.